Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm Annette from Sunbeam Fabric Art, and today we're gonna to make that paper pieced pelican. My pelican pattern that's based on a photograph I took is a little bit complicated. For example, you can see the M piece or section has to be taped together because it spans two pages. If you are an advanced paper piecer, you will have no problems with this pattern. If you're a beginner, I am going to put some links to some really good tutorials in this description. If you have never foundation paper pieced, definitely spend some time on a couple of tutorials, but feel free to jump in and try it. That is exactly how I learned paper piece. I just jumped right in and tried it out. The first thing I did was select fabrics. I did go to my scrap bin and looked for some scraps. I only needed a little piece of black for the eye, so I grabbed a scrap. The pieces of white that I needed were pretty small, so I was able to go to my scrap bin for those. And for the orange and the yellow, I was able to find uh, two 10 inch um, squares in my bin. And then I grabbed from my stash the blue for the background and the gray for the one piece of gray that is needed for this pelican. So going through the pattern, we've got the cover page with the colors needed. We have got the pattern itself. We've got a guide to the sections. And then we've got the assembly instructions. My next step when I assemble a paper piece pattern is to cut apart the pattern pieces. For any pieces that are tiny, I try to leave them attached to a large piece of paper so they don't get lost. My next step is to cut out individual pieces of fabric for each piece in each section. And I tend to go a little overboard and cut the pieces out much bigger than they actually will be. Not only for the quarter inch seam allowance, but also just to make it a lot easier to assemble the block. When I am building these blocks, I keep my map handy and my section chart handy because then I can compare these pieces with the actual picture, make sure I am picking the right colors of fabric for the right sections. For my pelican pattern, I decided to start with the very hardest section first, which was K. K has the eye of the pelican in it, which is the tiniest piece of this pattern. So it's, um, it's a matter of lining up fabrics right sides together and sewing on the printed side of the paper. I like to have my lamp very close by so I can hold the paper up 
and see if I'm sewing over the line. Since these pieces are so tiny, I am not doing this the way I usually do. In this case, I did a little quick trim. I took it to the ironing machine and pressed. Then I brought it back and added piece three. After I attach a new piece, I like to fold back on the sew line and trim the bulk a quarter inch away from the sew line. Once I started getting to the bigger pieces, I was able to fold on the stitch line and then I was able to cut a quarter inch away and then I could see exactly where to lay down my fabric to stitch it. And again, I folded back on the stitch line. I trimmed the bulk away a quarter inch from the stitch line. Then I folded that fabric back and pressed it. Here you can see I folded down on the stitch line, trimmed a quarter inch away. Then I was able to flip that over and lay my new piece down right on that line. I could see exactly where it needed to go. When the pieces are bigger, that is the way to go. After getting the yellow and the white around the eye, the next step was to sew on these last two pieces, which were blue background. And here you can see I'm folding down on that last stitch line. Then I'm going to trim that quarter inch away and I'm going to lay my fabric right sides together for the new piece. And it'll be sewn and I will be done with the section K. This little piece kept flopping around so I put a little tape on it so it wouldn't flop around on me. And again, we fold back on the stitch line, trim a quarter inch away, and then we can press that seam. And here you can see we're well on our way to getting this pelican finished. Once I had put all the sections together, I then trimmed each section on the dotted line. The next step is following the instructions to put this pelican together. For my reference, I taped up onto the wall the picture of the pelican and the picture of the sections, and then I had the instructions right next to me. Thank you. 
So here you see we've got the first three pieces together and now we're putting together the next two pieces. And just following the step-by-step -step instructions, we assemble this block. And you can probably see that I like to pick out some of the seam paper I don't want to keep sewing and sewing and sewing and put paper on top of paper on top of paper that is going to be very, very hard to get out later. So I try to tear away what I absolutely don't need to have to line up the next section. And sorry for the focus issues on this next little bit, but I do want to point out when you're clipping these sections together to join a couple of sections, just open them up and you will be able to tell really quickly if you are going to be lined up or not. In this case, I'm lining up the pelican's head. It matches, so I'm good to go to the sewing machine. Thanks for joining me today to make my little pelican block of the month for January 2023. I think he turned out really cute and uh, can't wait to see what uh, next month's bird is going to be. If you enjoy my channel, please subscribe and if you hit that little bell icon, you will get notified when I post new content. And check the description of this particular video because I am going to have some links in there for some tutorials. Thanks again for joining me, and I hope you have a great day, and I hope I see you again real soon. Bye now.